Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the Two and a Half Cents podcast. And I'm being joined by Bradley, aka Sergeant. How are you doing, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? Doing well. It's doing. I'm doing. How about you, Chris? How are you? I'm chilling out. Nice. So, uh, hey, it... chicken. How you doing? How's your mother? <laughs> so it is June third at the time of us recording this. Um, what's been new? What's been new in your life? What's uh, I know, Chris. You always have some gripes. What are you griping about this week? Uh, not too much this week. <laughs> You're okay with life? Maybe, maybe, maybe drivers on the road doing stupid ass stuff. Maybe that. Oh, tell me about it. I almost got into a wreck today. I went to I went to Chipotle last night to grab a bite. I'm I'm pulling into the uh, shopping center. I look to the left to see where uh, if there's parking spaces. And as soon as I look back, I see this idiot woman starting to back out into my car. Then today, I went to my sister's uh, birthday dinner. I'm driving out, and the guy is pulled out into the, um, you know how there's the main road leaving a shopping center, and then there's, like, the aisles they come out of? Yeah, the The story is taking too long. uh, into the main lane as I'm trying to drive by to get out of the uh, shopping center. I mean, people just want to wreck my car. Well, well, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why. I mean, you're such a likable person. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't kiss my fucking ass. Oh God! Well, demonetized right there. Here we go. Um, man, speaking about YouTube and demonetization. It's crazy. I don't know when the last time you or any of our viewers have uh, visited the uh, the trending page on YouTube, but it is absolute garbage. Um, there's no way, there's no if, ands, or buts to anything. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this stuff. If you've ever seen a trending page, it's essentially what YouTube thinks everyone else wants to see. Um, there are people doing mukbang videos if that's even how you pronounce it but it's essentially videos of people eating uh there's music videos produced by um large corporations and things of that sort and it's like dude it's kind of demoralizing if i'm honest with you like what what is what are we supposed to do as joe blow making a youtube video every once in a while how how are we even supposed to compete with these large entities? And I don't know. You tell me, Mister YouTube Moneybags. <laughs> YouTube Moneybags, dude. Fifteen thousand subscribers, but channels more dead than. I was gonna go somewhere, but I'm I'm, I'm deciding not to use that that uh, analogy. But the channel's dead. The um, channel is less dead than mine. Mine has fifty subs. You sound like you're ready to give up streaming. No, no. I mean, certainly I've hinted at it. Um, I've put out a Twitter post a couple months ago that I may not be streaming as much, but it had nothing to do with the numbers or anything. It's just uh, if you if you follow me on Twitter any bit, you know that uh, I'm very involved in my career. Uh, I'm always training, even when I'm off the clock. Uh, I'm constantly looking to get better and improve. Uh, and that kind of eats up a lot of my time. So well, there's only so much better you can get at interrogating and yelling at people. Sarge, Sarge <laughs> help me out here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so your interrogation van says free candy on the side. I don't. I'm not gonna. Have... <sighs> the interrogation van. I'm never gonna live that one down. Thanks, Chris. Oh man. Um. So yeah, what yeah. were you shooting in that? Uh, those pictures you sent on Twitter. Oh, they were um, they were silhouettes. So what he's talking about for no, 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 no. no. What what guns were you shooting? And what, what was that? Some kind of structured training, or were you just doing that yourself? Um, so what we were doing is kind of shooting on the move. Um, the video I sent on Twitter only covered like a small portion of what we do, but essentially that was us making entry. Um, and then there's also retreat shooting, which is pretty much us doing the same thing, just walking backwards. Um, just providing covering fire and 
And so um, there's a bunch of different tactics uh, that we employ and practice on. And I hope that if either you or Chris or hopefully both of you guys ever make it down here to Vegas, I can take you down over there. Uh, obviously, your ammo and everything would be covered no matter what guns you bring. Um, and we can go through some of those things. And Sarge, I think you'd excel with flying colors uh, based, off of your, <laughs> based off of your history. And I think you'd get along quite well with the guys. Um, Chris, uh, we'd have to explain a lot of things, mainly to inst- instruct him how not to shoot himself. Um, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a damn moron. So, so on the on the topic of instructional shooting stuff, um, my wife, she r- has rarely ever shot a gun. She shot it a couple of times with me, and I think that was it. Um, yeah, we went to Arizona to visit my brother a couple of years back. My brother's a cop. And he is all about self self defense with firearms. Yeah, and he's teaching her these techniques that they teach him in the army and in the uh, police force. Like he's like, if somebody grabs you when you pull your gun, you shoot him in the you just shoot your way up. Like you shoot him in the leg, the gut, then pull up to the head. Yeah, like you don't just wait until you get to the head. You want to shoot the first thing you get that gun pointed at. Because as soon as you shoot somebody, they don't want to fight you anymore. Exactly, um, and she she actually did really well with the the exercises he had set up. It was it was pretty fun. And my brother's got like <laughs> to put it in perspective. We went to Chili's, and my brother took almost ten full minutes to sit down. He had to take so many guns off his person so he could sit down comfortably to eat. Wow, he's got yeah. two guns. He's got a gun on each ankle. He's got one on his back. He's got one on his side, and he's got one under each shoulder. Yep, sounds like one of our guys. <laughs> Um, honestly, like we call it training, but anybody who's ever been around guns or any kind of shooting range knows it's so fun. Like it's something mm. I, I love doing. I, I, and you can... I'm not only having fun, but I'm also gaining vital skills for, um, my job, which I have not disclosed exactly what I do yet. Um, but it, it's fun. It's it's a good time. It's so much. It's so much fun. You can spend like two hundred dollars on ammo for one day and be done in a couple hours, and all of your ammo is gone, and you don't realize where. Exactly, and it's you, like it's well, boom. And you know what? And when you shoot with me, there's an added perk. Like I said, you don't pay for ammo. You don't pay for targets. You better get a lot of ammo, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just flash your. I think I may flash your credentials, and you get what you need. I think I may have is, gone through um, 700 or 750 rounds just today. Uh, I was oh, focused. A light day. Um, well, it, it, we were only there for a couple hours, but I was mainly focusing on. Um, I, I can identify a couple of weaknesses. One of my weaknesses is support arm shooting. Um, really, anything outside of three yards, uh, it's it's something I'm still practicing with. You know, um, I mean, it's a good skill to have, but I mean, it's not, it's not really a, it's, I don't know. Typically, if you're going to shoot something, you're going to shoot it with your dominant hand anyway. Absolutely. But the only time you're going to use your non-dominant hand is if, if your injured. dominant hand is injured. Absolutely. But you know, what do the Navy SEALs do? They prepare for the best <clears throat> or sorry, they prepare, they prepare for, for the uh, absolute worst, but hope for the best. So um, well, that's a funny thing because the Navy SEAL SEAL Team Six was built on failure. How so? Uh, they had two pretty high-profile botched missions for their first outing, and then they just became a weapon squad. So that's that's kind of the SEAL Team Six is basically the weapon squad for SEALs. Oh, I had yeah. no idea. Um, their first couple their first couple of major missions were failures, and then since then they've been great. <laughs> I now, mean, when, there was a, when you even, say even failure, when you, what, what does a failure as a SEAL consist of? I'm trying to think of the specifics of it, but I think they were supposed to go in and rescue some hostages and ended up getting all the, like, all the hostages ended up dying anyway. Oh, okay. And they, so, and they missed their high value target. So, so it was an extraction mission and they failed. Yeah. And there was a couple other ones that turned out bad, but after that they'd learn and react and, I mean, they had, they had a, the mission to to capture Bin Laden or kill Bin Laden, mm-hmm. the uh, the helicopter fucking crashed. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they had a helicopter. One of the one of the 
stealth Blackhawks they were using. I feel like I've seen that. Did they, they the show tail that in Zero Dark wall. Thirty? Maybe. Uh, the so. tail rotor hit like a wall because it caught a weird air movement and it dropped the tail tail rotor down in the into the wall and it took the took the helicopter down. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, just a forewarning to anyone listening to this. Um, we're already probably demonetized because Chris not only mentioned sexual themes, but we're also talking about firearms, which is highly inappropriate due to YouTube guidelines. Um, but bottom line is we're a bunch of guys and we like guns. I don't know about Chris. I think he prefers to take naps and watch baseball. But, um, I know as far as me and Sarge go, we love guns. Um, I got into a small argument on the range today with uh, one of my guys. He And he kind of uh, was trying to admonish me for the type of ammunition I was using. He's like, you know, you really shouldn't use steel uh, cased um, rounds. You should be using brass. And I'm like, why? He's like, well, you're causing unnecessary strain and damage to your extractor. I'm like, all right, buddy. I will buy you a firearm the, the first time you're able to find me a, a gun with an exploded extractor. He's not wrong. He's steel, not... steel steel coated bullets do a lot more harm to your to your firearm than brass bullets do. Okay, but, but... it's it's not significant enough to think that your gun's gonna blow up in your hand because you're using steel bullets. Right. And or steel honestly, casings, not steel bullets. Honestly, an extractor is what, ten or eleven bucks? You're, well, you're... unless unless it causes your weapon to blow up in your hand, then it's the surgery to fix your hand, and then yeah, a new <laughs> firearm. But then you can look like JPP. Oh wow, you are wrong for that. Um, <laughs> but that's so what I use. Funny, talking about we like different styles of bullets and stuff, right? We're we're in we're in Iraq, and the Iraqis have gotten smart, and they start putting plating under their clothes. Mm-hmm. So when you shoot at them, it just hits the plating, and they're fine. It's going to hurt like a bastard, but they're still going to live. Right. So my first sergeant went over to the machine, machine shop where I was hanging out with a buddy of mine. He's like, you see these bullets? He's like, yeah. He's like, I want you to make steel ones. Like, mm. not the casings. The bullets are oh, steel. Oh, so like instead of lead. Yeah. So they don't, they don't mushroom out against other metal objects. They go through them. Yeah. It's also highly illegal to have those in civilian world. That was like a makeshift thing to protect ourselves mm-hmm. in firefights. But those things are nasty. There's a <laughs> like lot they of don't weird mu- They don't mushroom things. as much. They like splinter. There's a lot of weird Makes obscure it. things that are considered illegal in the firearms world. Like um, in Nevada, like obviously they've, I think all of the United States, they've eliminated the uh, bump stocks. So that's completely gone. Yeah, but you don't really need a bump stock. You don't need a bump stock, but you know, firearm enthusiasts have them. Um, there's no reason. There's no reason to have one though. All it does is waste ammunition. Yeah. Well, the idea is to shoot small or aim small, miss small. So if exactly. you have a bump stock, you're aiming small and shooting everywhere. So another thing that's banned, which again, I don't know why you would need it because it it just worsens uh, the effectiveness of your weapon. But another thing that's banned is silencers, right? No. So, not well, everywhere. Here they are. You're not allowed to have them in um, Nevada. Um, I think they're legal in Louisiana. But it's like, that, it, it, the same question persists. Why do you need to have that? Well, there's, a, there's an actual reason to use them. If you're doing like, if you're hunting gators at night, you don't want to start shooting in the middle of the night and have everybody get all upset about it, you're going to use a silencer to kind of calm it down a little bit. Silencer, even with a silencer, they're still pretty loud. They're nowhere near as loud as they are when you fire it without one, but it's still pretty. You can still hear it pretty it's, good. Yeah, it's, you still hear it, but like, we don't have It's not like here. you see in the movies where it's pew, pew, pew. No, it's, it's still a pretty good pop. Yeah, we don't have gators here in Nevada, though. That's true. Um, so there's certain but, I mean, rules. I, I think I remember. I could, have you ever I seen see the show in, on? Uh, T, I think it was TLC, but it was Steven Seagal did a series of TV episodes where it's the show's literally called Steven Seagal Lawman, 
And, yeah, he, where he was a sheriff. And he's a sheriff in some Not bum sheriff, town of sheriff. of Louisiana. And they go around, you know, shooting at different things. And I guess a citizen called in saying that uh, they shot they, uh, they shot a, um, a gator or whatever it was. It was a wood... wood uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever sea creature it was. But <laughs> he showed up on scene. And he's like, oh, all right. Well, hopefully next time you hit him. Are you kidding me? Here in Nevada, if that were to happen, there would be like... 300 shots fired calls going out and we'd have like every single nearby jurisdiction showing up to find out why their shots being fired. Well, another example of where a silencer could be useful is in Arizona. You're, you're encouraged to kill coyotes, right? When do coyotes come out at night? At night. Yeah. When are people sleeping at night? Yeah. So, I mean, it would be, it would be plausible to use it for that. Yeah, I they, wouldn't use a silencer because they're expensive and not really worth it to me. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to shoot somebody, chances are if I'm going to shoot somebody, I want to be far enough away where they're dead before they hear the shot. And I'm sorry, I love dogs, and I know coyotes is a, is a subspecies of dog, but, dude, they cause some serious devastating damage. Uh, I remember well, back it, in when I was living in Illinois, which was not too long ago, that was 2017, um, we had a chicken coop in the backyard, which we had fresh eggs and everything. And my job every day was at the crack of dawn to go out and open the chicken coop, let them run around. And then before uh, sunset, make sure I corral them all in there and lock them up for the night. You know, because a rooster has to get up early in the morning and look at things and yell. You know, that's, that's a rooster's job. <laughs> so um, one day... I was so tired coming home from work that uh, I forgot to lock them up for the evening. I got them in the morning, took them out, but I never put them away. I just got so tired. I, I, I fell to the bed like a, like a log, dude. I was that tired. In the morning, I wake up and I see nothing but feathers and dead chickens all around the backyard. And I accounted for all of them. So the coyote is a jerk. He didn't eat a single one. Just killed them, <laughs> had their feathers all over the backyard, and uh, you know it's like well, that, at at that point you already killed the chicken, you might as well eat it. Well, I mean that's where they're encouraged to kill them in in Arizona is because Arizona is a free range state mm-hmm. where like they have free range chickens, free range cattle, free range horses. Oh yeah, stuff. And coyotes like to kill things. <laughs> yes, they do. So they're a big problem with all these free range, these people who have their animals in Arizona for free range stuff. Mm-hmm. So they encourage people to kill them. I mean, it's, it's an, it's, it's protecting your own animals and investments. Yeah. Um, it's the same yeah. thing. Like Ted Nugent says, if, if you, if you're not allowed to kill certain animals mm-hmm. then their population goes crazy. And I don't know if you know this, but coyotes breed all the time. <laughs> so you can get an overpopulation of coyotes really quick if they're not kept in check. We have coyotes out here. We found them in a neighborhood. I was like, I told my wife, if I found one, I was going to kill it. I have a dog. I have kids. I don't want my yeah absolutely. house having coyotes running around. Don't they get rabid too? Coyotes any, are pretty any, much rabid. Any wild animal can be can get rabies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're not. Not every yeah. coyote has rabies, though. It's like this, like the myth with bats. No, where everybody thought no, bats I, had I rabies. I get that, but you don't want a rabid coyote, and with your kids and your dog. I mean, that's that's a. I mean, I don't want rabid a anything. Near my kids and my dog. <laughs> so, um, it's not just animals though that can be rabid. I you hear some pretty uh, disturbing Florida things. Man. You hear some pretty disturbing things sometimes when you're out in the town and it's late at night. And long story short, I'm at a gas station fueling up. Uh, it, the machine outside refuses to accept my card. It says C cashier, and I'm like, all right, fine. I head inside, and there's this guy tripping on God knows what, and uh, he tells the cashier that if he doesn't. Uh, if he doesn't be a nicer person to him, that he's going to spit his hepatitis C blood 
from his mouth into the face of the cashier. And I'm like, wow, this guy has full on hepatitis C blood in his mouth legit. Isn't isn't that like Did you uh, tase him? Uh I can't comment on anything else that occurred that night. Um, what is what is, what is it when you that. when you threaten somebody with a weapon? Isn't that the same thing? That's like that's that, teetering on the edge of like bioterrorism, if you ask me. Well, that's, that's definitely assault. If the spit didn't even contain the hep C blood, that's assault. Yeah, spitting, spitting on stuff. someone else, that's easily assault charge right there. But like for the fact that there's the presence of hepatitis C in this dude's mouth. It's like, yeah, you probably want to get that checked out right away. How about we just put you down like the coyote? How about Chris? <laughs> we give you. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I'm a nicer person than you. But anyway, the whole moral <laughs> no, of the story. Not... The whole moral of the story is yes, Those there's good, rabid animals. Yes, there's rabid animals, but there's also rabid humans walking amongst us. Well, wasn't there the thing where that guy was high on bath salts and In tried to bite somebody's face off? Not tried. He ate the dude's face. This dude was <laughs> so high on bath it's salts. Like, it's like Night of the Living Dead, Florida Man style. <laughs> yeah, dude. And this is a time before body cams. I think this was 2010, if I'm not mistaken. And this dude, literally from the officer's account, this dude was hunched over this guy who was laying in the uh, prone position on the ground. He flipped the guy over so his face was up and began chewing on this guy's face. The officer told him multiple times, gave him commands to stop what he was doing. He looked, or uh, and he continued eating, so the officer fired two rounds into the back of the guy that's uh, feasting on this guy's face. And I kid you not, the officer said, and you can look this up, the officer said the guy that was chewing on the guy's face looked over while he was on all fours, looked over at the officer, growled, and continued eating again. So, um, I don't know what kind of bath salts. I don't know if that's Bed Bath Resident Beyond. Evil. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know what mall he got those bath salts at. It's definitely not no uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. It was Resident probably, Evil meets Hannibal Lecter. Probably some clandestine, clandestine uh, type lab, but um, that's some freaky stuff, man. That, and yeah, we joke and say Land of the Living Dead or that they're zombies, but legitimately, that's that's crazy stuff, man. How do you react to that? That's uh, what our country's turning into. Well, shoot him in the shoot him in the head next time. <laughs> double tap. You always double tap. Chris, you shot him in the back. Obviously, that didn't phase him. Shoot him in the head. Chris, I don't know if I don't know if it's fair to say that's what our country's turning into because certainly there's a lot of people that are making a great <laughs> decisions and making great lives for themselves and their families, right? So um, you, you don't really see that many people eating people's faces on the street. Yeah, no, so, but so I, I mean, think, I heard. I, think that I don't think it's fair to say that our country's turning into Resident Evil. Right. I think I, it's unfair I to hear take this typhoid this... fever in L.A. You know, it, it, it's we're turning into a cesspool. Well, that's because well, people don't inoculate their kids anymore, and because there's no laws in California. But that's a different story for a different day. What I'm, I'm saying. You, I wish yeah. I wish it was like an escape from LA where just part of California washed off from the bro, fit, from the rest of the country. Bro, you are preaching to the <laughs> choir. I, I would be more than happy if California flew off the face of this planet because all of a sudden now I got beachfront property here in Vegas. Dude, I mean, <laughs> there was there was this, I saw this thing on a late night show when I came home. My wife was passed out on the couch. It was mm -hmm. on. It was, uh, the guy was talking about how this uh, California. Uh, congressman or something was going around doing his political thing and he said America will not become a uh, socialist country and he got booed I was like how do you get how do you boo somebody for saying America is not gonna, socialist it's <laughs> okay we're not going to turn into the same political movement as Nazi Germany or you know Mussolini's Italy I don't get it man well, Trump said that and, like, the Democrats <laughs> sat there at the State of the Union and scowled at him when he said America will never become a socialist country. I'm telling you, it's going to have one of these days we're going to have a major problem in this country where the country's so divided, we end mm -hmm. up fighting each other again. 
Well, it's already happening. It's. I mean, it. It'll. It'll only get pushed so far before you have people actually taking up arms against other people. Well, here's the thing. The didn't didn't much of California said that they prefer to be annexed from the United States and become their own state? Seceded. Uh, seceded, annexed. Yeah. Uh, essentially, they don't want to be considered uh, part of the 20 continental or the 20 states of america 20 20 states or or sorry the 15 how many how many states <laughs> sorry the 48 <laughs> continental states plus uh you know what i mean all 50 states i can't believe you did that i've had a long day <laughs> i'm reporting this to uh, oh, the i've had a long day i'm tweeting it <laughs> as we speak geography with raining ravens <laughs> two plus two is eight can you have two master's degrees, Dad? I think the university <laughs> will be re- rescinding. Removed. Removed. <laughs> and annex is when you conquer another country, by the way. Just so you know. It's just when you take control of it without control, having control, yeah. Permission, yeah. So whatever, we annex whatever the, the case States from the Native whatever Americans. The case, I don't think it would be all that bad if California did that and kind of halved themselves and well, it'd make the electoral college a lot easier for Republican to win without the Democrat getting fifty-four of the what two seventy, isn't it? Electoral votes. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I, I don't know about the politics and all that how it works. I just know I lived way too darn close to this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> the Oakland Raiders Stadium is like eighty percent built at this point, and. Uh, and w- they're running way ahead of schedule, which m- means that we're going to be seeing a bunch of cholos in uh, knee-high socks and jean shorts running around saying, go Raiders, um, real soon and committing all types of crimes. And, and let's be honest, let's be frank, uh, you know, let's call a spade a spade here. Whoa, Raiders, that's racist. <laughs> Raider fans tend to be some of the, the most violent, if not the most violent fans uh, that that's the NFL not has. true. That's not true. What are you gonna say? They Eagles? They didn't boo Santa. Okay, the Eagles booed Santa. Guess what? Raiders fans throw people off the stadium. Don't that's all right. And Don't you remember the, when Raiders the, fans a few years ago Eagles killed that Ravens fan? Riot when their team loses the Super Bowl. They also riot when their team wins the Super Bowl. Bro, I think Eagles <laughs> fans are savages. I've seen them hurl D cell batteries at people. Bro, you remember when uh, the Bengals fans almost cost the Bengals a game because they were throwing bottles and batteries at Ben when he got carted off the of field? Of course, I remember game? that. I was like, "What are you doing?" But then you also <laughs> remember it's the Bengals, and it totally makes sense. <laughs> That's a very Bengal thing to do. Which, by the way, all this NFL talk, I mean, even though we just mentioned the Raiders and the Bengals and Steelers and and Eagles. It alludes to something you said prior to us even recording this podcast is that is the amazing rea- reality that football is coming back. Uh, we're just uh, two months short of uh, preseason, which, in my opinion, is the official return of football. A lot of people don't care for preseason, but purists like me enjoy preseason because you get to see uh, your new draft picks and see how well they perform uh, in, in or don't. <laughs> or if they don't, yeah, in meaningless games. Um, I, I, I really enjoy preseason. That's just me, though. I don't. Preseason's What's... all right. I mean, it just means I get to watch football. Why don't you like preseason, Chris? Because you run about five plays. What? Because you know. Okay, you, that's the end of this. You run, okay. you run a watered-down <laughs> offense because you don't want to show your whole playbook. You you play your starters for about four snaps so they don't get hurt with a torn ACL and are out for a year and a half. I'm I'm and waiting for you to say something that's negative. <laughs> All that stuff is good stuff for preseason. The, the point of the preseason though is to weed no, out I, your new players and see which ones no, are going to make cut and which ones I'm aren't. Not allowed to finish a thought apparently. It's but... because you take forever to finish a thought. <laughs> well, it's 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 a watered down game. It's okay. Not, it doesn't have the excitement. By the fourth quarter, you have guys who 
won't even make it as the water boy in the game. So? So, it's not I don't know. true. It's football, man. It's on TV. I'm going to watch it. Yeah, same. If, if if they're wearing purple and they got that <laughs> Ravens decal on the helmet, I'm watching. Uh, well, I, su- I support my team even though they lose every day. When I think manly, I think purple rain. Don't hit on don't hit on the Ravens. Oh, the man. Ravens are garbage. Their black yeah. uniforms are sick though. Black yeah, people. they are sick. Probably one of my I like favorites. any team with a black uniform though. Like I like the the uh Hurricanes black uniforms they had on for the uh playoffs. Those mm-hmm. were sick looking. The Steelers all black uniforms look sick. I kinda like the uh the forty ers all black uniform. I thought that looked pretty I cool. I just don't like the forty ers <laughs> I never said I like the 49ers. I do Wait, like the all black, are the, though. Are the 49ers still a team? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, bro. To me, they haven't been a team since Joe Montana left. Well, they're definitely a team. Whether or not they're good, that's a different <laughs> story. But they are definitely no, a team. Sorry, Steve Young. Since Steve Young left. I know so, what you meant. But uh, So, speaking of things that are coming back to peak interest... Mortal Kombat just released some of their roster for their new DLC characters. And I'm back into Mortal Kombat again. Yeah, but are you woke this time? It doesn't matter. Spawn's in it. <laughs> oh, Spawn is in it? Do you have the full Spawn's lineup? Spawn's in it. Um, it's as far as they've released so far that I know of. they you got Shang Tsung coming back. Nightwolf. Sindel. Spawn. And then there's more. That's all they say. It's more. Okay. And then right after that, Bruce Campbell tweets out, this is a nifty game. Maybe I should check it out. After he said before that there was no way he was in the game. Interesting. There's a lot of so intrigue he's, there. He's trolling one way or the other. Yeah. Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell I love you, man, but stop it. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I want to see Ash Williams in a, in a Mortal Kombat. Do we know? Speaking of the gory games, um, and I know before the podcast you said that they're doing a reboot of Doom. Uh, do we know when Eternals coming out? That's one of the games I, I was kind of looking I forward heard to. Yet. Let me, let me. I'm gonna look real quick see if they have a release date for it yet. Because I remember I did a list or something. Some because someone asked me to to make a list back in late 2018 for my wish list for 2019. No. And it still says 2019. Top of my list was Doom uh, Eternal, and that's still not even... And you're, you just checked it, and it says still 2019, right? No actual yeah. date? It just says 2019. Um, the remake that I was talking about was there... I've heard that they're doing a new Doom movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's not going to have anything to do with the one The Rock was in. I was kind of... Uh, disappointed with that uh, initial I mean, movie because i the thought thing. That the, the first person part of it was cool as hell okay so but that's I, only like five minutes thank you <laughs> thank you that's my criticism that was so cool and i don't know if it's because of the budget for the cgi or whatever but the the first person shooter aspect of that movie if it was the whole movie was in first person mode oh my goodness it would be extra boring because nothing happens till halfway through the movie. Yeah, I know, but I'm just... <laughs> they, they had something going with the first, in, at the end of the movie with five minutes of first-person view. Um, yeah. I just wish they would keep that up. I wish, it would, I wish they would have made it last longer instead of only leaving it at five minutes. Like, it was... It, was, it would have been all right to get, like half, get to that point in the movie mm-hmm. and then just make the rest of it in first-person mode. To oh, yeah. fight with a rock, make that first person everything. I would have been okay with that too. Are there any but, other games uh, you're looking forward to getting this year, guys? Oh, geez. Um, um, there's a couple, but I mean, there's I a given ones, three. right? Check out the, the, layers of Fear too, because I've seen a couple people stream it. It looks pretty good. Fear too. But it kind. I think you should stream that, by the way. What game? Fear 2? Is that what you just said? Layers of Fear 2. Oh, okay. 
Why would he? Yeah, oh, the, he would stream that. The he, new Star Wars game that's coming out. I'm stoked for that. What do you guys think of uh, the announcement that the new Call of Duty Advanced uh, Warfare? Mean Modern Warfare Modern Remake Warfare. Part 4. Yeah, what do you guys think about the, the fact that that's going to be the only game so far that's going to be true cross-platform, meaning PC, that's not true. Xbox, and PS4 can play together? Why is that not that's true? Not, because isn't um, that crappy game that I hate that everybody seems to like? Fortnite? Also... Yeah. Yeah, doesn't that also go across all the platforms? No, that that goes across uh, Xbox and PC. I don't think Xbox oh. players are actually playing with PS4 players. I thought it did. My bad. Ooh. So, um, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm never I've never been a Call of Duty person, but I'm gonna pick it up for the sole purpose that I'm able to finally play some games with my subscribers that are on X, uh, or on uh, PS4 rather. Um, Chris, I'm, I'm looking at you, bro. We, we got to get some games in. You're getting a PS4? Am I hearing uh, this right? No. no, you did not hear me right. In totally fact, you heard it wrong. To a what single are you thing doing? I said. I'm That's saying... What are you doing? I'm saying once the new Call of Duty comes out or the remake or whatever, I want to play you in that game. Since you have a PS4. Oh well, you'll you'll bitch at me for getting killed because I suck at first-person shooter games. I never said okay. we'd be teammates. <laughs> I would never team up with you. Oh, what you're, is that movie? You're what is, a what is, douche. Why? Why do I have to be a? I douche? would never team up with. Listen to how you talk. Okay, I can only imagine how you shoot. So, Wolfenstein Youngblood is coming out. I want to I want to play that one. Dying Light Two, the new Cuphead, uh, the redo in Battletoads. Wait, there's a new Cuphead. There's a new Cuphead coming out. That game is insanely hard. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That looks sick. Um, give me a second. Where is it at? Uh, Rage Two. That looks good. Rage. Borderlands 3. Wait, is Rage going to uh, include the... the? Is that the game with the gorilla and the lizard and all that? Or the werewolf? No. I don't, I don't what, think so. What Rage am I thinking of? You're thinking of Rampage. Rampage. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, um, continue. So, Resident Evil 3 remake... I don't know when that's coming out. If that's this year or next year or the year after, I don't. But I know mm-hmm. it's coming. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. What was it? Jump Force looked good, but I don't know about that. So what I'm kind of getting, what I'm hearing is uh, that we don't know uh, what good games coming out this year. There's. But... I heard it... Borderlands is pretty good. Oh my god! Borderlands Three looks like it's gonna be sick. More like boredom lands, am I right? Oh, shut up, you turd. I don't know why you guys like that game. Oh, what is that game? Uh, 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 it's based on Lovecraft. What is it? Based on Lovecraft? Yeah, H.P. Lovecraft. He's like the father of modern horror. Uh, Not ringing any bells. Really? No. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen the movie The Thing? I have. With the fly. It's basically, it's basically some of the stuff. Ate. What? Yeah, I've the, seen the movie The Thing. The Thing, not the fly. The Thing. Okay. That's basically Lovecraft. That's a that's a Lovecraftian story. Okay. And when's that coming out? The Thing. No, not... Or the game that I'm talking the about. The game. I don't know. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. I, th- I think it's... Are you, are you guys all picking up Madden this year? If I can get I'm it gonna, free I'm from probably certain... I'm going to wind up buying There it. it is. The Sinking City. When you get a chance, look up the trailer for The, thinking, for the Sinking City. Okay, I will. That looks redonkulous. I want it. So safe to say, some guaranteed games we're all picking up this year. NHL, we're all picking up oh, Madden. Yeah, definitely. 
Okay, okay, NHL for sure. Well, NHL. I love the new. I love the slider set I found for NHL. I love it. So it's really. How is it different? Because it makes Look. the game easier for him. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> wrong. It Not wrong. Makes the game play a little bit easier. Uh, we got it. Easier. We got it, Chris. <laughs> if I see, I can't ever get a damn sentence out with you two. You talk it so slow. Never mind. Move on. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, Just no, no. It's good. Think about what you're going to say before you say it, because when you pause like halfway through it for five seconds, it makes it sound like it you don't know what you're talking the about. Game play uh, more sim like, a little slower, but, and uh, it's more sim esque. So what Wait, I'm asking I mess with my sliders too, because, but... because I do play the game quite a bit. What makes it more sim, other than the fact that it's just slower? Well, Probably it's not, turn it down it the. It uh, have the arcade the feel, in my opinion, where the uh, when you play it, it other ways it feels arcadey and like you, you know, you don't have the amount of shots on goal because I don't know about you, but sometimes you'll have like sixty shots versus sixty two, mm -hmm. and that's not realistic. That's a and lot this, of shots on goal. This gets it. This keeps it more like in the thirties to forties, which is a little high, but it's not sixty, which is like twice the shots. I'll have to check that out. I've been playing a little bit of uh, uh, this golf game. Uh, shout out to Official Mole. Uh, we've been pretty much every day been playing this golf game. It's called the Golf. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's called Golf Club 2019. And it is a phenomenal golf game. Probably the best golf game I've seen online so far. Um, Lies. Mario. Mario Golf. Best golf game ever. Okay. You can go ahead and unplug your mic for the remainder of this no. podcast. Mario Golf is the best golf game of all time. Why? Because it's the only way to make it interesting. I respectfully disagree. Golf is boring. Golf is boring, but this game makes the game makes golf fun. Trust me. Give it a try. Uh, we might even have to do a co-stream. Wink, wink. If it's if it's free, I'll do it. It is free. <laughs> everyone should. I'm advocating for everyone to go download this game on Xbox Live. It's free. My, my view on free games is you always get. You always get what? Your money's worth. Oh yeah, because it's free. Even if the game is terrible, you didn't you didn't spend anything oh, yeah. on it. Yeah. Microsoft thought they were smart by only giving us free games that were three stars or less rated. Uh, but this one is actually three and a half stars, and it's a phenomenal game. But um, just want to give you guys a heads up before we wrap this podcast up that next week we won't have a podcast for you, unfortunately. I, uh, As I mentioned in, in, my pre in a previous podcast, uh, I do have a vacation set up for the month of June. June is finally here. I'm going to go back to Chicago and visit the family. So I'm going to miss you guys on podcasts for sure, but we will be back the following week. Uh, do you guys have, I think we talked about this earlier on previous iterations, but do you guys have any vacations for this month? I know it's a summer month, so. Well, I mean, I did, but that kind of got ruined by the people I was going to see. Yeah, I hear you. Or by the person by the that person. was going to be there. Yep, we've already talked but... about her. I mean, them. Um... <laughs> Her is fine. <laughs> her initials so, are her initials no, spell out. No, you don't have to do that. We're, we got it. <laughs> so oh, see this, you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be Sarge, Chris, and Double are checking out. We thank all of you guys. Uh, we appreciate the turnout from the last podcast. Uh, the thirty-five people who watched or listened. We appreciate you. It is growing, not by much, but a little bit, and we appreciate the little bit that it is growing. All thanks to you. All right, we will catch Peace you out, guys. homies. Keep watching. <laughs> Peace out, capitals. fam. Okay, Chris. We're I'm Audi five thousand, bro. <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that. Good night. Peace.